How to Maintain Business to Business Relationships Companies that make an effort to maintain successful business, too, business relationships are rewarded with goodwill in their online and offline social and business networks. By taking the time to acknowledge relationships with business colleagues, companies also increase the odds of gaining additional work from acquaintances beyond their immediate circle. Easily implemented strategies ranging from hand, written notes to careful listening are cost, effective ways to strengthen new and existing business ties. Part 1 Adding a Personal Touch 1. Meet face to face. Whenever possible, try to have in person meetings with current or potential business associates. Face to face interaction is crucial for building and maintaining relationships of any kind, business included. Meeting in person allows you to notice body language and other non verbal cues that would be harder to interpret over the phone or via email. 2. Send a handwritten card. Writing an old, fashioned note is a simple way to maintain business, to business relationships. Unlike sending an e-mail, a card is an obvious, visible reminder of your thoughtfulness. Be sure to follow up on collaborative projects. Send a thank you note about your partnership and let the other party know you are always willing to collaborate again. 3. Pick up the phone. Whenever possible, interact via phone conversation rather than just through email. Taking the time to make a simple phone call can make all the difference in the world to a person you are in business with, especially in today's fast, paced, email oriented, technology driven environment. When a business sends clients your way, acknowledge the gesture with a phone call. This is a great way to show your gratitude. Part 2 Engaging with Your Business Associates 1. Listen more than you talk. Listening well is part of maintaining any relationship that matters to you, especially business relationships. You want your business associates to feel like you hear what they are saying and that you think their opinion matters. This means giving them the floor to talk and letting them see that you are listening. Practice active listening skills like nodding your head, making eye contact, and giving short verbal responses to indicate that you are engaged in the conversation even when you aren't speaking. 2. Nurture your relationships All relationships take time and effort to build and maintain. Business relationships are no different. You must make time for them, even when it's inconvenient for you, so that they know you value their business. This means that you can't just call someone up whenever you need them and ignore them when you don't. You have to be willing to invest time and energy into your relationship even if it doesn't seem to benefit you immediately. You will reap the benefits in the long run. 3. Pay attention to the needs of your business associates. Try to be proactive about predicting the needs of the businesses you interact with on a regular basis. Continuously check in with company leaders to ensure that their needs are being met by your services. Don't simply wait for them to contact you. Determine how you can best serve business clients and colleagues. Ask direct questions about your company's quality, products, and efficiency. Surveys, phone calls, or a casual on site visit are inexpensive ways to improve business, to business relationships. 4. See a client's big picture. Instead of simply attempting to meet the needs of a client's short term project, learn what the company might need in the future. Ask what new developments are in the works. Then get a timeline for pending product launches. Finally, determine how your business skills can increase their chances of success with the new projects. Part 3 Expanding Business Relationships 1. Try Networking A great way to expand your business relationships is to network through business associates you already have. 
Ask some existing business clients or associates to make introductions for you so that you can expand your business circle. Just be sure that you are willing to help others network in return. Maintaining business relationships is all about finding the balance of give and take. You have to be willing to give in order for others to be willing to give to you. 2. Make referrals when you learn of a colleague or business in need of services that someone you know can provide, offer to arrange an introduction between the two entities. If your business associates think of you as someone who helps them solve their problems, even when it might not directly benefit you, they will be more likely to remain in business with you. Before making a business, to business referral, try to get a general understanding of the capabilities, needs, and budgets of both parties to avoid wasting anyone's time. 3. Try to collaborate on projects. Collaboration can be a great way to build business relationships. Find out how to collaborate with competitors on certain projects. If your business owns a piece of machinery that you believe will add value to another company's services, approach the company owner to determine if you can work together. Invite the potential collaborator to lunch to talk about complementary services and products. 4. Utilize social networking platforms to build larger business circles. Take the time to build a professional presence on social networking websites to share your background with others who may not be as familiar with your work. This will help get your business name out there and can reassure your existing business relationships. Using social media will help you reach a larger audience of people with your vision for your business and will give you a great starting point for building business relationships. Having an online presence makes it easier for new contacts and existing ones to find you and contact you. Warnings If you choose to collaborate on a project with a competing business, Use care not to reveal too much about your company's strategies. While business competitor partnerships can reap many benefits, it can also result in stolen relationships if things go awry.